Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kwesi. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Kwesi Kwesi. Today, I bring you a special edition of this weekend channel. This weekend channel, we have three very interesting things happening. Two are related to foreigners and one is related to weather. First of all, I'm going to tell you what happened to a couple. To support us, get you more information in the videos, like and subscribe to the channel, tell your family and friends to do the same. Two lovebirds in Shandong are in a relationship and uh, out of the relationship, um, they had a baby and when they had a baby in China, they need to go through a procedure of registering their child and all that and as a foreigner, the baby needs to go on the paperwork of the mom or of the dad. So during the paperwork, they need to, because they are students and they are on X1 visa, they need to go and inform the school and the school give them some paperwork and they'll take it to the immigration and the immigration will get the little kid a visa. So for some reasons, when they went to the school, the school said, nope, they are not going to give this people the paper, the right paperwork for the child to get a visa. Was the reason? The reason was that um, when the mom was registering, I mean, uh, applying for admission, the mom wrote that she was single. The mom did not state that she's married. For that matter, the mom has no rights to give birth. And this is what's happening in Shandong right now. The girl is in trouble. The girl doesn't know what to do. The guy is in trouble. They don't know what to do. How can you have two legal immigrants who give birth? to somebody who become an illegal immigrant. They went to the school, they, they wrote letters to the school, I mean, they took a petition to the school administration, the school said no, they wrote to the immigration and they went to the immigration, the immigration sends them back to the school. So, so it's like they are going around and around, they don't know what to do. It's very, very confusing. I don't know if uh, a foreigner needs permission to give birth because, yeah, she wasn't married as at the time she was filling out the form of the JW. But then, although she's not married, she has a right to give birth and or she has a right to get pregnant. After she completed the JW202 forms, she has all the right to be pregnant and all the rights to give birth. So people don't understand why the school is trying to make it hard for them to get their child registered under the visa of the mom. It's like, you didn't need permission to have a child. You didn't need permission to, what do you call it, uh, to give birth. It's so, so confusing. So this is what's happening in Shandong right now. They don't know what to do. It's possible that this kid will become an illegal immigrant whilst his parents are illegal immigrants. So confusing, <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. It really means a lot to me. It helped me to get the energy to move on. There's a big typhoon sweeping across some areas in China right now. It started from the sea, the China seas, and it landed on Zhejiang. Right now, Zhejiang, a part of Zhejiang is in a mess. There's flood everywhere. The storm is very hard. And uh, people are really suffering. It hit Zhejiang and it's supposed to hit Shanghai to hit uh, Chindao. As I'm talking right now, I can feel the wind. The wind is very strong. Just watch this video. You see the effects of the typhoon. The last story I'll be bringing to you today is uh, some visa issues. Uh, in a city in Jiangsu province called Suzhou, right now visa policies are changing a little bit. If you are applying for visa over there as a student, if you apply for student visa, especially you are moving from the bachelor's to the master's, when you are applying for visa, you need to go for interview. Normally, uh, <laughs> you don't need to go for no interview if you are school give you all your documents to apply for a visa when they give you the uh, admission documents you just go to the immigration and you submit your documents but in Suzhou immigration Suzhou is in Jiangsu province Suzhou immigration you'll be required to take an interview before they decide to issue you the visa or not so folks should be aware if you are in Jiangsu province and you are in Suzhou and you are going to apply for a visa in Suzhou you go through a series of interview before they decide to issue you the visa or not. I think for Suzhou they are a little bit strict because uh, other people who apply for visa there, especially marriage visa, instead of one year, sometimes they give them six months. 
and um, other people who also apply for work visa over there. It's a little bit strict over there. Work visa sometimes they can give you three months and they tell you to go back and come for another three months. So if you are living in Jansu province in the Sujo area, when you are applying for a visa, please be prepared because maybe at any point in time they will give you a phone call and tell you to come for an interview. Whilst other places it's not like this. That's all I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe so you have weekly updates of what's happening in China. Thank you very much and God bless us all.